in here, man. Huh? Eddie. Okay, so, Mikita. How old are you? 33. How old are you, man? Huh? 12? So, you see you see a lot of people smoking? A lot of Be honest. You think it's cool? You don't know have you smoked before? You ever thought about smoking? You got some friends that smoke? People in your family smoke? Okay, so, Mikita, you see this? The young men, they looking up to y'all, the old men, right? They looking up to us. Cause you, 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 you got, you got his age, you a dog, 33, you know what I'm saying? So they looking up to us, so we gotta be that role model for the young generation. We gotta be the men that setting a good example for our people because when we pass away, if we doing evil stuff, they gonna do the same thing. And, but they gonna do it worse. Right. Because I'm pretty sure you saw people smoking when you was growing up. I did. I see people smoking. I see it on TV. See it on Friday. Friday after next. You know what I'm saying? We see it. We see it on billboards. You know what I'm saying? We see it in music videos. We think it's cool. But give me um Exodus 23 and 2 or is it Leviticus 3, 23 and 2. We can't follow that type of stuff. We can't do that because we are the Israelites. We God's chosen people. Did he tell you what's your, what's your nationality? Where are your people from? From here, so you so when you fill out your job application, you ever had a job before? Okay, what you put for your ethnicity? Huh? You ever put you put black, you put other, what you put? Because you have to put something. You put white? You just say you put white? Okay, you're not white, man. You want this a lot of the Bible. Watch this, read this. Exodus chapter 23. And verse 2, thou uh -huh. shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. So we're not supposed to follow, even though something is, is cool, like smoking weed, like hitting licks, like smashing girls, you know what I'm saying, and not marrying them, like celebrating Christmas, Easter, okay? Everybody do it, we're not supposed to do that, Mikiel. Yeah. My brother, what's his name? Major? Okay, Major, that's Eddie, that's Mikiel. We're showing up, what we're trying to show our people is, we are God's chosen people. Right. We are, we are the, supposed to be the kings on the earth. Right. Well, if you king, that means you royalty, right? Right. Okay, Mason, that means you royalty. Eddie, if you a king, that means you royalty, right? Miguel, if you a king, that means you royalty, right? Well, royalty comes with rules. You got the way you eat. Right. You got the way you dress. You got the way you talk. You know what I'm saying? For example, like right now, we, like earlier he asked you about the shirt, you said that was a movie, right? But now, when you look at it, this is just what you know because both of y'all got the same hairstyle, all right? When you look at that hairstyle, you shave your head. You think God wants us to shave our head like that? You know where that trend comes from? It comes from the punk rockers. You know, they, they grow a little, uh, 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 what they call it, the mohawk. Right. It's a sign of rebellion. That's not good. We're not supposed to be rebellious. Now, he didn't have mohawks. Not, not the ones that was keeping the laws. You know what I'm saying? Well, they went off too. Don't get it wrong. That's why we're here. Your forefathers, the, the Indians, the Native Americans, the, 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 the tribe of Gad, the tribe of Reuben, they committed sins. That's why you don't see them no more. That's why they got the casino, the Hard Rock, uh, 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 um, what is it, the Hard Rock Casino. Okay? Because they, got, they, they have been discontinued as people. The white man destroyed them. That's what you see right here. But guess what? Grab that food. You said, you said they had, let me show you what they had. Come look at here. Mickey, come look at this. What do you see right here? Come look at this. Because you're talking about the Native Americans. Look right here. This is how they dress. What is that? This, that's them right there. The natives of this land. These are the Native Americans. Child of Gad, Child of Reuben, Central Indians, Native Americans. They had fringes on their garments. So if you're trying to be like the Native Americans, you're trying to be like the Israelites, you need to stop wearing the fringes. Right. Don't do the evil, because shaving your head in that mall outside, that's a sign of rebellion. Give me our first Samuel 15 and 23. And that's what we teach to our young men, to be rebellious, to go against mom and dad, to go against God. You know what I'm saying? Because we are God's chosen people, and you shouldn't smoke. You know why? Because what is one, what is a, one of, of God's first commandments? Do you know me, Mikia? What is one of God's first commandments? 
Hold that and give me Exodus 20. Give me that. This is one of God's commandments, major, that we gotta learn. Because a lot of us, we have idols. A lot of us don't love God like we say. You know how? When you smoke, you put that before the Lord. That that pump that you have on your chain, you put that before the Lord. That's an idol. God says you can't have that. When you smoke weed and you want to get high all the time, you try to find happiness. You try to escape life. You're supposed to get that from the Lord. You understand that, Mickey L? You're supposed to get your happiness from the Lord. Not from the weed. Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. You hear that, Eddie? We're not supposed to have any gods before me. Mickey L just left because he got cut. He had an ump on his chain. That's an idol. Spanish 2.1492. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to tell you why, Major. Because we broke God's commandments. Why? God brought slavery into us. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Watch this, Major. Watch this. Real quick. Because this, you need this, Major. This is major. This is very important. And you laugh it, but this is important. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. What's the name, my brother? Okay, she's Christian. Now, Christian, they hand you out the price, right? Now, when you look at this sign, what's the nationality? What's the nationality? Hispanic, but from what country? Colombia. You'll be from the tribe of Asher. Okay, right. That's who you be. So now, the so called Colombia people, are they doing good today? No, they're not. They, they have money problems. They have a, a lot of Birmingham. A lot of people are sick. A lot of games. A lot of drugs. When you hear about drugs, what's one of the countries they bring up? Colombia! Yeah. Yeah. Okay? They're not doing good, brother. You know why? Because it is me. The Lord is at the 28th and verse 17. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The Colombian people, which is the tribe of Asher, they're not keeping the commandments. They eat that show. They do brew how they eat. The black people, they're not keeping God's commandments. They ain't smoking weed. They're celebrating Easter. They're not keeping their fringes. Read. To observe. To do. To what? To do. Major. You got a lot of things to do that's major. Like keeping God's commandments. Right. Read. All oh, his commandments. What? All oh, his commandments. So you heard that? What was your name one more time? Christian. If you call us your name is Christian, that means that mean you want to name after Christ, that means you better keep the commandments by Christ. Christ did this. Read. And his statutes. Which I command thee and say, now all these curses, all these what? All these curses. So man, you walk in the way. Yeah, walk away. But if you don't keep these commands, what's gonna happen? Shall fall upon you, and I will take you. Okay, Until what? All the sin that I be destroyed. God is going to punish. God is going to punish you. The ultimate punishment is missing the kingdom, Major, and that's Major. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? If we teach our people to repent, Major. This is very important. I got you, bro. I'm all right? I'm so, hey, you're a long guy, all right? All right? So, you know you're going to try to do it. You got to repent, man. You got to start keeping these commandments. All right? So, now, Christian. All right? So, read Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49. Because you, I see you. You hot? You just came on back right? You do drugs? No? Where you coming from? What you was doing? The skate park. Okay, you go to school? How old are you? 16. So you still in high school? Okay, so you did a dropout. Okay, good. Alright, so now, as a young man, God requires things of you. Okay? And the first thing God requires of you is to remember who you are. Alright? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse um for a sign. Give me that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. And there shall be a body for a son. God says he's gonna show you. Are He's going to show you who you are from the tribe of Asher. Okay, read. And for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. So these signs, we literally have signs, and God has signs from our world, like right now. Colombia is born to some things, just like his neighbor, Venezuela. What does Venezuela have that everybody wants? Yeah, that's, that's already done. Gasolina! So why is Venezuela currency so low and they got gas? In their country. Why is Colombia so low when they have a sukkah? They got all the resources there. Because not only is the white man raping them now, they raped them in 1492. That's why you speak Spanish. These are some of the signs of who you are. Because all the 12 tribes of Israel went through esclavitude. They went through slavery. You see this here, Christian? Okay? This is what you got to learn about. Okay, this was what Christ was showing the people who they are to repent. This happened to your people in 1492. They enslaved them. They hung them up by 13s to symbolize the 12 disciples in Christ. They bashed the little kids in a rock. If you read uh, books like uh, The Destruction of the Indies by Antonio de la Casas, it tells you we are the Israelites. The so-called Colombian people are the tribe of Asher. The reason why the conquistadores, which means what? Conqueror. The reason why the conquerors came from Spain is because of God. Do you believe that? 
Let's show you that. Verse 49. That was a prophecy that he would do to Asher. Okay, for disobedience. Watch this. And I want you to pay attention really good. All right? Watch this, Christian. Read. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Okay, so you know you know what Colombia is, right? Colombia is in South America, correct? Where is Spain? All the way over here. Is Spain close? No. So it says it's going to bring a what? A nation against thee from far. So God will go bring a nation against against Colombia from far. What's going on, young man? All right. We teaching about who we are. And I'm going to show you something about your nationality. All right. So watch this. So I'm showing your brother Christian who the uh, Colombian people are today. They are the tribe of Ash. All right. Where's your family from? Honduras! Wow, all praises to the most high. The people from Honduras are the tribe of Zebulon. So look at this. You, you would look at him. Your name one more time? Ronald. You wouldn't think he's from Honduras. You wouldn't think he's Honduran. Okay? We are the same people. His people is from Colombia. He's from the tribe of Asher. You're from the tribe of Zebulon. I'm going to show you right now. When you look at Honduras, is Honduras doing really good? No, it's not. Because I went to Honduras, I think it was about two years ago. It's actually doing very bad. Now, you have some people that's making it, right? But as a nation, they're doing bad. That's why they're trying to do a cross the border. Right. Bring it out! You heard about that? Everybody trying to uh, cross uh, uh, Mexico, past Mexico to get in the United States, from Honduras, from Mexico. Okay, people trying to leave Colombia because of the, of the gang violence and no money. Okay, these are the curses of God. And God said that will happen to your people, the tribe of Hondu uh, Zebulon, and it will happen to your people, Christian, the tribe of Asher. So watch this, read it from the top. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from forth. So Ronald, you said Ronald, right? Did you okay, when you look at this sign right here, because it's got a uh, color. Honduras is right around oh, you here, right? Here, right? Is Whenever Spain very close to Honduras? No, it's not. Spain is all the way over here. God said Spain, the Spaniards. That's why you speak Spanish. Rupert, Rupert, I'm almost done. That's why you speak Spanish, Christian. Well, your family speaks Spanish because they came from Spain. You're speaking the language of your conquerors. That's what conquistadores means. So they came to Honduras and they came to Colombia in 1492. Are we, are we clear about that? You know Christopher Columbus is? Yeah. You know Christopher so Columbus, Columbus is? Columbus. No. This was Just like Hernan Cortez, Cortez, Ponce de Leon. Okay, read. From the end of the earth, as swift yeah, I like, I like as that. the eagle fly. fly. So what's the symbol of America? The eagle. The eagle. Look here. The That's the symbol of their money, the eagle, even on the dollar. What's the symbol of Spain? The eagle. So look here. This is Spain right here. The eagle. So it's telling you he will send the Spaniards to conquer the people in Honduras. He will send the Spaniards to conquer the people in Colombia. Why? Why would God do that? Let's get verse uh, 48. Uh, for the one of all things. Verse 47. Because thy servant is not the Lord thy God with trifleness and with gladness of heart. So Christian, so I know you gotta go, but before you leave, it's saying the reason why he sent the conquistadors, the Spaniards, to conquer Colombia, to conquer um, Honduras. Honduras, is because we did what? Because our servant is not the Lord thy God, with trustfulness and with gladness of heart, for the abundance of all things. Therefore, should I serve thine enemy? So that's why we didn't serve God. We didn't keep his commandments. That's why Colombia is still messed up today because Christian. Colombia is not keeping the commandments still. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC. 
has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.